Puck back in in transition. Very opportunistic in that way. J.D. Dudek sends it in around the left side. Sophomore has had a terrific season. Had a goal and an assist. And they went over New Hampshire a week ago tonight. It's Diego into the offensive zone. Drops it for Cini. His shot on net. Wall made the save and a rebound. Score! It sat out in front, and Gustafson was able to bury it for the first goal of the night, and Merrimack is on the board. A lot of credit on this play. He's got to go to the defenseman, Mark Biega, as he brings the puck up the ice. He, he's not the biggest offensive producer, but he can carry the puck well, and here he's going to skate up number four in blue. He's going to wait now for the D to back up, and look how he continues to push the defender more back. The shot goes off the glove not once, but twice. I mean, it's... It's one of those hand grenades, uh, the, the bobbles around, watch this. Glove, blocker, shoulder, and then Gustafson uses his big frame right there. Another body in front, too, to slap. Side and swung around there by Scott Savage. Junior defenseman, career high five goals, and a terrific state home defenseman for the Eagles. Seen him a little give and go. Gustafson backhand, scores! His second of the game, and Merrimack has come out blazing here at the Heights. I mean, this is a gorgeous play from start to finish, and Hampus Gustafson is on fire. Look at the way middle drive, Cini goes through the legs. Gustafson sees the goaltender is down, committed wall. He can't extend the stick on a poke check. There's the finish. Let's go back to the start. Nice play along the wall to get the puck out. Uh, Tavernier gets it to the neutral zone. Gustafson is going to push back with his speed. Neither defender can hold on to him there. Savage gets beat. I beg your pardon, Luke McGinnis. No longer playing, but 11 years at San Jose, three other teams. Of course, Alex Biega, one of three of Biega's brothers who played at Harvard, now playing for Vancouver. And here's another opportunity, but a big save and a rebound. Score! Tibbet on the follow, makes it 3 nothing. A stunned crowd here at Chestnut Hill watching BC trail early. And keep an eye for a goaltender change, and we're going to have one right away. Freshman Ryan Edquist is going to come into the game after a less than stellar start for that youngster there in Joseph Wall. What a play, though, by Merrimack again and using speed. Hammers along the wall, neutral or uh, high offensive zone turnover, and off to the races they go. Two on one, backhand follow up there by Tibbet. I didn't say, I, I just. I didn't find it. I couldn't find it. It bobbed it all over the place, and it ended up being a goal that shouldn't have happened that changed the tenor of this game, no doubt. Uh, turnover each way here leads to Boston College gaining the line. Centering pass, score! Good work there as Matthew Gaudreau driving the net, takes the feed from Cangelosi and gets one back for the Eagles. They get the puck in, and then they get let their talent take over. Breakdown by the Merrimack Warriors. Puck has moved wide. That's a good play. And then right, you see how it's hacked up? Watch, he's going to lose his balance right there. The puck has turned back into the offensive zone. Goudreau's going to go wide. The defense doesn't turn to face him. They don't get the head on the swivel. And the nice pass from Cangelosi over to Goudreau, the leading scorer. One of the scoring freshmen, top scoring defensemen on the team. Kovacevic has really good. emerged yeah. as uh, one of their most important players. There's an opportunity. Cangelosi scores! Austin Cangelosi says thank you very much. Takes the puck and makes it a one goal game. So two fortuitous bounces lead to the two goals for Boston College. I think he's asking if Mark Denny asked if that was offside or not. But Cangelosi, who has been so good for this team this year, leadership, scoring big goals, scores another one. Puck is bobbled and gets right over to him, and he jets himself right up the middle of the ice. Here's the breakout. Now it's going to come through the neutral zone. Are they going to look at this one? Is this offside? They're saying Cangelosi may have been, and then Fitzgerald had to go off his uh, skate right over. Just again, uh, I mean. Irvine at position. He's able to get in there, so no icing. But now two Warriors caught up the ice as the Eagles try to bring it up. But the puck comes right back. Tavernier. Gets it back, he scores! Broken play, he tried to get it to Gustafson, but it came back, and Tavernier, the freshman out of France, scores his fourth goal of the season. This, 
wouldn't happen if it wasn't for the nice play in the neutral zone by Sini after Tom, you said two Merrimack forwards been caught. But watch the way Tavernier is going to get to the puck on the finish right here. He's going to start with it, pushes it towards the net. Here's Big Gustafson, and there's the finish. Now let's go back to the neutral zone. Two forwards caught, no problem. Number 13, Sini says, I'm part of the triangle, the top of that triangle in the neutral zone. I'm going to push the puck back into the offensive zone. There's the neutral zone key that we talked about. Again. Taking it to the left side. Yeah, caught in four game-winning goals as a freshman. That's not the fifth most in the country. Save, rebound, score! Puck came out in front. I believe it was uh, Cangelosi who got his stick on it in that scrum. Ryan Fitzgerald there as well. Uh, but just the, the initial save, in that case, the rebound right out in front of the net. And a lot of bodies there. Yeah, and Cangelosi, if that is his goal, which I think it is 50th goal of his career, off the faceoff, Cangelosi's telling where he wants guys to go. Look at the way that Colin White uses his legs, something that he has to continue to do more of, to get to the puck behind the net. That sets up this opportunity for Fitzgerald to pop the puck. It pops right back to him. And there's just a little swat healed in by Cangelosi. That is an enormous power. Two on one developing. Cini going in with Tavernier. Cini slides across. Tavernier back to Cini and he flipped it wide. Great passing and now Cini gets it back and he hits a post. Cini with two great A chances. Now Gustafson had it blocked. Back to the point and over to Biega. Biega with room, slides it into the slot. Score! The persistence pays off, and Gustafson gets the hat trick goal here in the third. It's the first hat trick for a Merrimack player since 2011, and it gives them a two goal lead once again. What a shift by this line, D men included. Here, Biega gets it. I love this. This is another great lesson. He just doesn't shoot it from about 50 feet out. He takes ice, moves it to the middle, and there's Gustafson who gets it. Now we'll go back and we'll show you how that line ends up moving it around, entirely dominating the previous 20 seconds. The U team can do offense. And right here, 37 seconds away from a big upset win on the road as it's chipped out on the far side and taken up the ice here. Michael Babcock into the empty net. He gets the goal. So Babcock putting it into the empty net, and Merrimack is about to end 20 years of frustration here at Conti Ford. That's got to feel good for that guy right there who played his college hockey.